Guys, Marlon in the kitchen right now. Marlon in the kitchen, not pitching. So, a long time, family left Jamaica 30 something years ago. I first time make cook bread food. So, you know, me I go see if I remember how to do it and thing. You know, you have to slice them up and put them in the water and your pot remember you know, your pot have to boil up very good before you can put bread food tonight this is Marlon in the kitchen boy a long time in a cook bread food should I keep, cook all of this bread food? why am I going to eat this? I should I put my piece in the refrigerator for you next time you may not go cook a whole of this guys I don't know if you pick them I'm going to eat bread food see uh, guys look how you peel it certain things never leave you no matter how long I left Jamaica. Jamaica never left me. Remember that. I left Jamaica 30 something ago, years ago. But Jamaica never let me. All the things I learned and the principle and the thing that my grandmother taught me, they still instill in me. So people always remember, always keep your identity. That's a very good thing. So me can't peel my bread food, see him here. Yeah, man, peel the bread food. You know, call Marlon in the kitchen. So, yeah, peel my bread fruit right now. So, all Jamaican want to comment below, all Caribbean people, wherever bread fruit that in Africa, we you know DR have some bread fruit and Puerto Rico, they, they call it call it different names, but it's all the same thing, same fruit. You know, cut out the heart. So, this takes some, right now, I want a two slices on this. Then you put in a cold water. Can you keep it in a cooler? You, you know, you don't want to turn color and everything. Marlin in the kitchen. Yeah, man. So peeling my bread food right now. So guys, I'm telling you, me have me just a, a bubble on a pot today. Funny stove right now, me have a pot of salt fish. Can I cook some ackee and salt fish? You eat with this. Seeing, yeah, man. That's something I do it, rude boy. Right now, who wants some of my cooking? Me I tell you people, I first from it America, I come here 89, seeing? I first me I cook bread food. Now nah, I lie. You can't get everything to buy now. I Korean them store, Jamaican store, and I even sell bread food at the Korean, them I sell it. I tell you, Korean, they're not a Jamaican, but they sell everything Jamaican. <laughs> That's so. See what I say? I say, come on. But no respect still. Look now. I'm showing you some of the bread cooker. Look. I peel them. I put them in here, sir. Make sure you put that boil up very good. Alright. So. Make sure you camera over here, sir. Look, so right now, boom. See, so I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna reverse the camera, reverse the camera. Oh, let me take a picture. So, look, Ooh. look at Pata Boba people. So right now, I write time for putting the bread food. See? Dropping the bread food there. When they raw, then float on top. You know? So see there? We have a pot of salt fish I cook up. So call Marlon in the kitchen, guys. All right? Focus on me. All right, so I'm going to show you something. Give me a second there. Right now, I have something there. Pumpkin, yeah man, I tell us a big cooking there going in the idea. Yo, I have a yellow yam. Big piece of yellow yam, yes. Mmm. Now cook off a light though. Dashing, I love my dashing, you know. To make me to get some nice dashing gummy. Woo! Don't make it scratch it though.
I mean, when I cook, I just eat a little ginger biscuit. You see me? Fantastic. Where you am look? That don't look too bad. Mmm. Call Marlon in the kitchen. All Jamaica, Jamaican people, all Caribbean people, and people in a whole who love cooking. All if you don't like food, <laughs> comment below. Tell me if you like this video. You want me to do more like this? Yeah, man. And I can go and peel up the yam and thing. You see me, I say? Home food is the best food. See me, I say? Mmm. And fellas, I tell you, to learn to cook. All the man who can cook, and cook has nothing more than a poor woman. Woman love a man who can cook. They find it very attractive. Yeah. No lie. They say, wait to a lady's heart. It's her tummy. You make her tummy full and make she smile. So later on, my woman will come home, she'll smile. Because she'll get some real food. She'll out there now. Out in the world. Breadfoot and bubble. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, say, man. Make sure no peel the yam yet, still, because you know, bread food take a while to cook. Yam. Yellow yam, but it's not like the yam, them at Jamaica, some of them. You know, they have some real. Afro. Yam. The tough. And gummy. Yeah, man. So. I think me just a cook. I'm going to soak them out right now. Okay. You know what I think? The yam get changed color, so I have to put in my pot. Because I like the yam not having nice color. I don't want to get dark or anything. Alright, hold on, guys. So, guys. I mix it the ultimate thing, the flour dumpling right now. Jamaican no love yeah, when, you, when when a yard man cooking up, we love a flour dumpling still. See what I say? Flour dumpling are the nicest thing. Mmm. Tell me. Remember that look a youth. Me and my cousin. Richard, Curtis, Tyrone, and Craig. Sometimes on Friday, upon weekend, we cook all three pounds of flour. Sometimes we don't no meat, you know. <laughs> we don't no meat. Maybe we get one, a half a pound of chicken back that we make it stretch. Yo, and you say Richard? You say Richard, a man can. Near my flour dumpling, I'll tie road. I'm gonna have like six dumplings, and I just dumpling. You call them Johnny Cake, so you know to them big. Yeah, man. So, Richard, when you see that video, remember those days. Yeah, man, and me always like kitchen, I cook up the thing. Because at one point, you know, I wanted to be a chef. See? When I was in. Back in Jamaica and everything. And when I came here, I didn't follow through on my dreams when you come on to that part, you know? But that's why it goes sometime. But the kitchen was my thing, man. From a tender age, I remember when I look at youth and my grandmother cook dinner. Me used to, you know, the can then scan. Jamaican, you can relate. Me used to go back and cook over my food again. Not that my granny didn't cook it good, but just. I was so eager to be a cook, you know, so those were the things I, I used to do. And at the age 13, 12, 13, I cook big Sunday dinner. I asked my sister to put a wood fire, I didn't talk stove. And I cook rice and peas and then I burn up. 
you have to be a real chef. If you can cook on wood fire and the food no burn up, the rice no burn up. Let me have, make me fried chicken. French fried chicken. Think turn up. Then a nice. A 12 year old Marlon when I do that. 13 year old. Yeah man. And that's what I wanted to do all along. I used to, you know, when I was going to school, Jamaica, I was doing that in school. But, so, all the hard man knows the hood fire are the best. When you cook with the hood fire, trust me, man. Food, sweet. Store food, not sweet. Sweet. No, sir. A hood fire. Hood fire. They require. Yeah, man. You see it? It's all yarn, man. Put my dumpling. See that? I know. Dumpling, that you know. And you know about the dumplings, them. But my kids, them like about the dumpling. So I make the dumpling. And then you have the leftovers. Are you fry that? Blood not. Them love it. So sometimes we always cook extra. So they can have the leftovers. Yeah, man. And my dumpling is tight. I mean, I like loose dumpling. You know, sometimes you go to a restaurant and you get some soup and you bite the dumpling. You wonder what it is. Oh man, you're supposed to bite the dumpling. You're supposed to hear. You're supposed to hear that because sound the tightness of the dumpling when you bite it. Yes, father. So, put some strength in that dumpling. You know, you have to push up on the dumpling. Yeah, man. Huh? Kneel the flour dumpling. Yeah, man. Sit there, man. Yeah, man. Right now, the bread food have bubbled down. I'm telling this to people, I first time from in America, I cook bread food. See, back in the idea still, I mean, you see, you they want to climb all the tree there. I couldn't climb any tree. I climb bread food tree, coconut tree, the tall coconut tree, I climb and go over into the arch and kick off the coconut there. Tall. Yeah. Mango tree, any tree, we could have climbed it, no matter how big it was or tall it was. I was a climber in the family. Yeah, man. I have a cousin named Devon. He's like a brother to me. He go on like he couldn't climb a tree. Because he, if he can't climb, he can't have to climb no tree. So, me know who are the climber. Every time breadfruit needs to pick up, I have to climb every tree. So him pretend like he can't climb a tree, no, so then I'm going to call upon him. Devon, that was smart of you. <laughs> but I never mind it. Any tree me could use to climb it. And you know, the neighboring people, them, they always ask me to climb a tree and pick breadfruit for them. Or a coconut. You have a man named Mr. Gregory across one. He used to call me Marklan. Marklan. <laughs> you know, call me Marlon, you know. He called me Marklan. And this called Marlon in the kitchen. So, me now just cook her. Me I tell him a story. Story time with the cooking. See me, I say. Look on the floor. Yeah, man, mix it up, man. So, dumpling are the last thing if you put in a pot, because the easiest thing to cook. So the bread food are the first thing you put in the pot because I had this thing for cook. Then you put the yellow yam, put the dash in, and then you put the pumpkin, and then you put the dumpling. <laughs> you right me? <laughs> Marlon in the kitchen. I'm going to take pride in making the dumpling. I'm going to show you my local technique of making the flour dumpling too. Man, it's such a bar out. You have to mix the flow, man. You have to knead it. You have to stand up in the belly of the floor. Look on it, guys. Blessing.
So I'm gonna put it aside, you know? All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do now, wash your hand, wash off the flour. I wanna make sure you know, to me need any shot, when you make flour, make sure you need any alarm. I you need a clean, make sure you need a clean, got germs, that's why you, you know, to eat flour for any or anybody. Got some people not clean and I don't need to keep dirty and germs live under your nail and it can give you germs. You know? So sometimes when we eat at a restaurant, we don't know where we eat because we don't know the first who so if them hand clean, what kind of first them. You know? Those are risks we take still. You know what I'm That's why. Don't eat at any in any restaurant. Find a restaurant that you know they're, they're very clean and they take pride in customer service and all of those things. You know so guys, I'm going to peel my dash you now. I hope you don't spoil. But you know, these things, they need to spoil. So I'm dash you now. Yeah, mommy, I tell you, I go all out to the man, I cook. But to the cooking, I go serve the couple of days still, because I eat rice. See? I eat meat. So. They, they eat Jamaican food. They love their Jamaican food now, you. Hmm? Dashing canna. I buy it a couple of days now in a, in a two in a, in a similar like two hundred. Yes, yeah, spoil up. And yo, dashing expensive in a man. In a cheap. I think it's cheap. Just a little dash in here. About seven dollar for this. And I'll lie to you. Mm. Then I've got it too small because I'm going to want the mushroom. Alright. Let me cook. Piece of the pumpkin in here. See me, sir? Pumpkin look like it dry. Marlin in the kitchen. Guys, tell me if you like these videos. If you want to watch more videos like these, me peel my pumpkin. But don't go do too deep in it, kinda make sure when you peel it, you kinda like kinda skim it out because you don't want it to get too soft. when you cook and get too soft, then it break up. So if you have a look up like a little piece of skin on the bottom, you kinda keep it in place. Kinda, you know, you peel it but you leave a little, little patches. May I teach you know something, learn. I believe it all the nutrients in the skin. So a piece of where part where I try to get rid of. Yeah. Put a bubble. I'm all in the kitchen. We need Jamaican cooking. So guys, what go on? Salt fish. So I throw off the first one. I have the water. Up. The salt fish already. 
Saya ada sal tu siapa? Sal tu. No. Saya akan make the dumpling ni masih. No, saya make the dumpling ni masih. Kita nak se. And guys, believe it or not, my lady she she Puerto Rican, but she make dumpling like any Jamaican. You know, as good as any Jamaican. And even better than them, I'm bet some Jamaican. When me say neat, you know, I believe say. She that, you know, get so good at it. She's very good at it. I have to give her the credit, you know. She can cook the Jamaican food good. I'm all in the kitchen for a reason. See? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
<laughs> Yo, big up my fellas, Caribbean people, my African people, my Spanish people, my white people, my Asian people, my Caucasian people. Let me say it properly. My Indian people. All people are people. You're all my people. We all the same people, we just come in a different vehicle. See? Remember that. Same people just come in a different vehicle. Yeah. Same people arrive in different vehicle. So nice, not true. Same people. I'm an earpiece. No wonder me I touch. I'm an earpiece, oh boy. And it's also clean because I'm sanitizing. Every time I step into my house, I wipe off everything when I come from outside with. I spray my shoes. I wipe it off with clothes, wipes. I spray my clothes. Yeah, man. You must always sure everything clean around you. I believe in cleansiness is godliness. So I always trying to be clean. Not try. Always being clean. Cause those are things I learned from my grandmother from my little child growing up. She makes sure everybody everybody have to be clean. It's not among the amount that you have is what you do with what you have. And what we have we did the best with it. And that's why I love that lady, Winifred. Winifred Williams. Yeah, man. Winifred. That lady taught me so much things. And I'm so disappointed in, you know, like I able to take care of her she died 1985 yeah man you know the last thing she said to me she wake me up and say go pee and uh, and after that she just start crying for her stomach you know she was like my belly my belly and those was the last word I heard from my grandmother. And at the time, I couldn't cry. Because it hurt so much, I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. And then years later, I was just walking. I remember I'm walking. And tears just start running down my eyes. Just remembering that beautiful soul that went to rest. You know. And those are the memory that I, vivid memory that I have of her, you know. Other than the, and she was a disciplined person. If me messed up, <laughs> she not play when it come to the discipline part. But she's a loving individual. Caribbean people know about that. She always say you can't run, but you can't hide. She not run with them. We run, she just wait till it's settle down. And then she catch you. <laughs> ah, I don't lose a touch. Not because me not show no. See me dumpling them there. Hello. Pata bubble. Sima don't like Sims. Sim Sima. Watch it. I got some big fingers, right? Long fingers. You hardly can see you dumpling. They dumpling big, you know? <laughs> My finger, them I cover up the dumpling, rude boys and ladies. So, I'm going in a 30 minutes after Marlon in the kitchen cooking and showing and making dumpling. Watch. Watch. Look at this dumpling. 
in this cup. Look how beautiful they are. Come on, talk to me. Comment below. Say if you love me dumpling and you love my video. So me want you guys when you're making your video, you give some stories. You know, just do it different. Some story for you grow up, how you grow up, you know, and about your life, what your experience was like, you, you know, and those are memories that you should cherish, regardless of what it is. You are here today, you know, because without a journey, you don't have a story, you know, so you have to have a journey. To have a story and my journey take me here I can tell you all these things reflect reflect you know and talk about these things miss yo people me still have enough dumpling in my look but we have no fry dumpling for fry Jamal in love with leftover and in love aki and saltfish in butter beans and in shellfish he invites some friends to go eat some food because he no selfish. <laughs> not in the selfish. Yo, people, I'm telling you. Yeah, man. So, people, you see, I put up a, a poem that I did the other day. Uh, you know? It called Struggle. You know, poor people. It said, we all have our struggle. We all have our fight. But never allow anyone to dim your lights. Because the river of love is still flowing. And the rooster of awake is still crowing. And the maturity of my mind is still growing. I'm paying the mortgage on my house, so I'm still hoeing. It's not raining outside, but for millions, it's pouring. Pouring for millions who can't afford a meal. Point for millions who can't express how they feel. Point for the blinds who can't see. Only thing they can do is feel. Feel the agony of being poor. You see, one man, mm -mm. one man should have both keys. The keys of riches and the keys of poor. Now they're pushing millions more through that door of poor. Leaving us vulnerable and so insecure just because we're poor. But I say, rise up, poor people. Rise up. Rise up, poor people, rise up. Open your eyes and keep your head up. Even though we're fed up, rise up. Rise up, poor people, rise up. Rise up. We have to believe in ourselves. We have to keep pushing in spite of what we're going through, of all the difficulties, of all the turmoil. We have to fight. We can't give up. The moment you give up, that means you quit. And quitting, in, quitting is not in our DNA. No matter how hard the journey get, we're not going to quit. We have to keep on. We're survivor people. You know, we're here to survive. And once we learn the mythic of survival, then we won't struggle as we are. And even though there's a lot of stumbling block in the way, the reason why we're struggling, but we have to fight. Find a way, my friends. Find a way. Today's not the day to quit. Today's the day to live and fight for tomorrow and do the same until we get better and better and better. You know? Think about it. We just have to fight through life. So Marlon in the kitchen. Don't blend them. They'll get bigger and bigger with them, you know. I think me a rush. Me I get tired of making dumplings, so each time me pop off bees, <laughs> it get bigger and bigger. Pat a bubble over, you know, when the pot full up, and the steam and the dumpling touching there, they look a bubble from the flour. They can pop just a simmer. Do to a stove. Ooh, look at these. Me I go make one. I oh, you know me I go do. I'm gonna make when I dumpling them where Richard used to eat. Richard, this, 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 I'm gonna make a Richard dumpling and Curtis and Tyrone dumpling. This is a Richard and Curtis dumpling. Look how this big. May I show you? Then call them a Jamaica John Belly Full. Then call them Johnny Cake. We look at Carmel and them. 
So I can make them the same way. Now make it different. Not sure big old boy. I'm going to show you how you need the same way. No matter what size. Me is just a dumpling maker. You know some people are troublemaker. Well, me is a dumpling maker. You have some people are troublemaker. No, sir. Me a dumpling maker. From Jamaica. The dumpling maker from Jamaica. Yeah, man. I'm going to show you how I can make dumpling. No matter what size, rude boy. My dumpling is neat and complete. Watch. <laughs> Yo. This is Curtis and Tyrone Dumpling and Richard. Richard of England right now. Richard, look, look on this. Look on this. Oh my God, man. And you're just different, my you. Look on this dumpling. Look how neat. Oh my God, and complete. Look. My God. My son. Oh, you're so good, man. I'm on this round like a cat wheel, man. Look on it. Look on it, guys. Look on it. Look on it. Look on it. This is this is Curtis and Tyrone dumpling. Big. Big dumpling. They are jumping in the pot. They go. They want to have Curtis, Tyrone. Richard, the dumpling, let me just make few now. I have memory from back in the days. See? And people, watch the video to the end. Marlon in the kitchen. Oh. Oh. I need to do some push up and thing, you know what I mean? Most of them kind of look deadish. Not your people. Marlon in the kitchen. Don't bring it nice. 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 I have to store it now, so you know. Remember if you store your pot a little bit, but don't stir it too much. Remember the thing them at the bottom, you know, and then break up still. So you kinda you know, if you dumpling then kinda find a way to the bottom. Yeah. Na 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 Still neat and pretty. The real dumpling maker. Yeah, some people are trouble maker. But I and I am a dumpling maker. The dumpling maker. Ooh, from Jamaica. Yeah, man. The dumpling maker. No, oh, no, no, but I will grab the name then. I, I want it. Because everything you know here, people say nice. I say, yeah, man, I like that song. Good, in you know, man. One I go run with that one, yeah, you know. Yeah, man, the one I feel me, that one, yeah, man. You see me, I say. Yeah, man, the one that, hey, I go open my shop, and the one that I go use, you know, my old boy. The dumpling maker from Jamaica. Yeah, man. And then go on, like, I them come up with, you know. I them find the idea, you know. And they go tell them, friend, you know, say, yo. I have an idea, you know, man. And then tell him friend, I say, yo, and then friend said, why you a genius now? Oh, you come up with that and say, you know, sir, so the mind work, you know, I am I, you know, I and I, man, I just a little genius, man, inside, you never know about, you know, boy. So me have to tell you the thing, you know, your man. And he know, get it from, from himself, you know. I'm all in the ear, fam. <laughs> I'm all in the kitchen and get it from. And then he never flip around and he said, but me here for Marlon video man. He said, Marlon, Marlon here from me. Marlon is a what? Marlon, I, I take my thing. See? Yeah, man. You know, I give the right for your thing, rude boy. Yeah, man.
dumpling I'm a bubble over too much dumpling too much food food overload good thing about dumpling then cook easy for they put out the boil over them a couple minutes they're ready for eat if you have car meal in it now it's different because car meal you gotta cook the car meal a long time in it no car meal dumpling you know 40 minute video make you know in my kitchen you see how long me I make dumpling fam <laughs> about 26 for the video about 20 something about 14 minutes I have a dumpling me make look on the meat still have local flour left in here so Bubbling, 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 bubbling. Pat look healthy. Pat look healthy, rude boy. Put some more water in the salt fish here. And Jago mad with me and Jago said, Mama, I just clean off his stove last night. And I didn't boil over panic. You know, we do, we do, hey, we do teamwork in the house here. Yeah. See? But, and she control the kitchen, she love the kitchen. And she spoils us. Yeah, man. She spoiled the boys. Oh my God! How much me have left? Me about three left. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 minutes of what? Cooking in the kitchen. Guys, bear with me now. See me, I say me not give no boring video you now. Even though me not the same space you now. But we give no little story you now. Yeah, man. Don't, I hope you no, know, no, no. Short attention span you now. And the word I was looking for was pleasurizing. When you use other people's stuff and don't give them the credit for it. It couldn't come to my brain at the time. And then they don't want to say, what's that word called again? What's that word called again? And then they don't come to me. So me wait till it come. <laughs> yeah, plagiarize it. You know what I'm saying? Use people thing and don't give them the credit for it. You know, when you quote somebody, you know, you give them say, you know, quote. You quote somebody, let them know, say, you know. The great Bob Marley, who the cat fit, let them wear it, you see me? I threw my car in the car on the phone. I'm a choo choo choo. But right, dumpling still neat. Why? Why? Put my food in my pot here. I need a big Dutch pot in there. Big Dutch pot. Big Dutch pot. I say me chew me can. I mean no can no fall. And then my choo choo choo. And then my choo choo choo. Yeah man. Guys comment below. What your favorite Bob Marley? 
my favorite is No Woman No Cry. No woman no cry. No woman no cry. That's my favorite Bob Marley. And my favorite garnet silk music is the rod. And we are Moses leading God's children to the promised land, you know? My favorite Buju. I'm living while I'm living to the Father. I will pray. Only Him know how we get through every day. All the eyes to the prize. I'm a leg we have to pay. Yeah, man. My favorite caper time. Slow them up here, feeling them a carry. Don't bother with this. So they can't say them sorry. My favorite book, Bojo. Bunty. Book, book, book. Uno pressure, uno book. Beanie man. Sim, sima. Who got the keys to my bima? Oh my, the girl them sugar. Yeah. Man. Oh man, I want up there. <laughs> Lorraine. Who that? You want Sean Paul? Shaggy. I'm going on the show. No? He was me. And he only on the show. No? He was me. Look around, I want free for more money than to be on the road. Let you know the money than I'm so. Merciless. No, 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 no. No, mama cooking. Hello, what? Mama cooking. Ah, this is a letter. This is a letter from my mama. Yeah. Yeah, try if you remember some artist song, that means they are your favorite artist. If you have favorite artist, as soon as you think about them, a song supposed to come up. Bam! Right off it up. Mm. So guys, right now, pot full up. Me I'm telling you, say full up right now. So I'm going to show you. Now. So I'm pot really full up right now. Uh, what are this doing right there? Move away from there. Pot full up right now. I'm going to take off the cover. So I'm going to put that back the cover. Full up, salt fish I cook this up, boil over, do it up my stove. Don't worry about it, we always clean our stove, so don't get it wrong. We are clean people here. Pay attention to the detail. I don't know if I never want to look from background and comment and talk when you talk. I don't show you nothing. Pay attention to the way I teach you and show you. See? So guys, I think I wanted to, you know, do the completion of the Aki and salt fish, if you want to see it, but that's video, video already long, video long. A 48 minutes already a video. Sure. I mean, no fun and I'm going to watch it too, you know, because people get bored easy, you know. We don't have too much things to turn to. We don't have too much channel. I mean, like when Jamaica, we just have one channel. We don't have no choice but to watch everything. <laughs> no, we don't have cable this, cable that, internet, that, social media. Oh, no, go over this, no, run over this. Oh. So now, nah, if you don't watch 10 minutes of my video, you don't watch enough. Well, guys, I'll see you in the next video of Marlon in the Kitchen. And one love, happy new year. And may this coming year be a success to you all. Be safe, take care of your family, love each other, and treat each other with respect. Because we should love each other. I don't see the reason why we're fighting each other and hate each other. Not because of our race or complexion or where we wherever you're from. People are people and we are human beings and we are all one. I say we are same people we just arrived here in different vehicle. Same people, different vehicle, but we are of the human race. One love, be safe, happy new year and may 2023 be the year to bring you closer to your dreams or, or fulfill those dreams. All right guys, one love. MDS, Marlin in the kitchen.